I'm here with all my buddies from Pearl Django, and uh, we're going to play a tune for you. But before we do that, we're gonna, I'm going to describe the music just a little bit. We call it hot club jazz, and one of the reasons we call it that is because that's where the music really originated in this nightclub in Paris, France, that was called the Hot Club. And it was in, in the 1930s in Paris, and the musicians there really had been listening to a lot of American jazz. And one of the diff big differences was that these were all string players, guitarists, upright bassists, violinists, and they listened to American jazz, which was mainly played on horns at that time. And so they, they really tried to translate that American jazz feeling into and use and use their own instruments and make it work and they did a marvelous job as you will you will see coming up here so anyway uh that's it for right now we're going to play a tune for you later hi my name is tim i play guitar in pearl django and you know the guitar is very important in hot club style music and the most famous guitarist in this style of music is a man named Django Reinhardt. Django Reinhardt was born in Belgium in 1910, and by the time he was about 15 or so, he was playing violin, guitar, and banjo and making a living playing music. He happened to live in a caravan that was kind of like a wagon, um, and even though at that time he was playing, he was using all four of his fingers like we usually do on the guitar. Uh, but unfortunately, he got caught in a fire, and it burned part of his hand so that he could only use two fingers when he played instead of all four. But in spite of that difficulty, he became one of the most famous and most amazing guitar players ever, really. And um, so he would play uh, some, something like this. I'm just going to use all my fingers for a second. That's a song called Nuage, which means clouds, and this is one of Django's most famous songs. Now he might play something like this though. Because he could only use these two of his fingers. These two other ones were kind of rumpled over. And that is how Django Reinhardt made such beautiful music on the guitar in the Hot Club of France. Hello everyone, this is Michael from Pearl Django. I play the fiddle with Pearl Django, which that fabulous hot club band. And this is my instrument. It's otherwise known as a violin. It's got four strings. And most of the time I play with this bow that is made out of this part is wood, Pernambuco wood from South America, and this stuff right here is really cool. It is the hair from a tail of a horse, and it's just, it's perfect for getting this sound out of the violin. Yeah, I could do that all day. <laughs> so, that's that. I'm going to show you a little bit of what I do within Pearl Django. I'm going to play just a little snippet of uh, the, the fiddle player that played with Django Reinhardt in the hot club was a guy by the name of Stefan Grappelli. And he was a magnificent violinist and fiddle player. And this is part of his solo to one of uh, one of the tunes that we're going to play later so I'll play it right now so right now I'm going to invite my friend Tim to come on over Tim plays the guitar and we're going to do a tune that is just pretty close to what Django Reinhardt and Stefan Grappelli would be playing okay here we go
Hi, my name is David Lang. I play accordion with the band. Accordions come in many shapes and sizes and types. This particular accordion type is probably the most popular accordion out there, and it's called a piano accordion. And I bet you could guess why it's called piano accordion, because it has this keyboard that looks like a piano over here. The accordion can play really low notes. And it can play extremely high notes. The accordion also has a totally different section of sounds over on this side. You can see a bunch of buttons. And these buttons do two different things. There's two rows, the first two rows, that just play bass notes. And a second row that plays just chords. So I can actually play three notes at one time by hitting one button. And that's one of the things that makes the instrument very versatile and was very popular because you could play basses, chords, and melody all at the same time. The accordion, however, wasn't a hot club instrument. It never played in the uh, Hot Club of France performances. Um, that was strictly guitars, violin, and bass. But the accordion has, in recent years, snuck into the literature of current Hot Club bands. I think mostly because it was, it was an instrument that was very popular in that period of time and associated with France. And also, I think, because the first band that Django ever played with was led by an accordion player who was very, well, instrumental in his uh, early, early days of playing. And in that band, they would often play uh, a type of music called a musette, which is a really fast, showy piece for the accordion player. Um, Django himself wrote several musettes, and uh, today, even now, musettes creep into the literature of the current hot club bands. Here's a little kind of a modern musette, which is the trio, the three of us, playing. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jim Char. I'm one of the two guitar players of the band Pearl Django, and I'm here to demonstrate the guitar that's used. This is uh, often used style of guitar. It's called a grand bouche, or a grand bouche, excuse me, and you notice that it's, a, it's like a big mouth. There's also another guitar called the petite bouche, and that means small mouth. Um, I will demonstrate a little bit of it. <clears throat> The role of a guitar player in hot club swing style is a lot of it is to keep time. So what do I mean by that? Keeping the rhythm, keeping the time, setting the groove. Why don't you count with me at a four, like this. A one, two, three, four, a one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. You feel that groove? There's also another kind of rhythm that's often played in hot club swing. It's called a Latin groove, and it goes like this. Let's count a little bit faster. One, a two, a one, two, three, four, a one, two, three, and a... Django Reinhardt and Hot Club Swing has become so popular. It used to start off with just a small group of people playing in Europe. It spread out throughout the world and now there are 64 different festivals all over all over the world and all the different continents where people get together and listen and play this style of music. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you. Hi, my name's Chris.
and last but not least in this type of group, is my instrument, the bass. It plays the lowest, deepest notes, and with the guitar helps provide the rhythm that everyone plays with and keeps everyone playing together. It has four strings, like the violin, but you can see these strings are a lot bigger and thicker and longer than the violin. That's why it makes such a low sound, these big, long strings. It's what it's designed to do. So let me play a couple of notes for you. So you can hear it's really low. Okay, everybody, uh, here's that tune I was talking about. This is called Minor Swing. This features the whole band, and uh, we hope you like it. All right, gents. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> 